Hello, this is Mr. Chabry, and we are here with basically a team reveal. The team that I am bringing to the International Challenge of March. So let's go ahead and hop in here. Um, here we have Braviary. Um, we have Whimsicott. We have Landris. We have Tapu Coco. We have Incineroar. And Metagross. So... These are going to be the Pokemon, and here I'm actually going to go over um, some of the spreads and stuff, you know. Stuff that's pretty important if you're wanting to decide, if you decide to try out some of these Pokemon. So over here we have some of these spreads. Um, Braviary is packing the Choice Scarf, and it's got the Defiant ability. Its moves are going to be Brave Bird, Rock Slide, Super Power, and U-Turn. So the thing about this is... There's a lot of Intimidators out there in this metagame. So with the ability Defiant, Braviary will get a really nice attack boost. And the thing about Braviary's attack is, if you look at it, it's 123. So that's pretty good right there. Um, we're going to be running Jolly. That way we can get a little bit more speed because this thing is not the fastest. But we're going to put all of our investments in attack and speed and the remainder just in special defense. Um, because we got to put it somewhere. Um, but yeah, this thing's going to hopefully give us some victories. Um, with the Choice Scarf, it basically has a 120 base speed stat, which is actually pretty good. Um, and the attack stat's already up there pretty high. Um, if you get that Defiant boost, it raises it one level. That means multiply 123 by 1.5, and that would give you something like around 180, I think, if I'm doing my mental math correct 180 that is amazing braviary is here braviary is going to do a lot for us i really wanted to try some pokemon i haven't used ever and i've never used braviary so i think braviary has a place on this team we're going to look at whimsicott spread now whimsicott will be carrying the wiki berry and that means it's going to be able to live certain hits and then you know bring its health back up to basically half it's one of those pinch berries um the ability will be Prankster, and that will come in handy with some of these moves we got here. We have Taunt, Light Screen, Encore, and Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam is there just to give us some, you know, mode to attack. But the main thing with Whimsicott is it's going to be supportive. We're going to have Taunt. That's going to prevent people from setting up Trick Room, which with my Braviary, with the Scarf, I kind of need that. We have Light Screen, so say my opponent has something like a Mega Charizard. I could throw up the light screen and not worry that much. I mean, I still have to worry a lot because Mega Charizard hits really hard, but we'll have a light screen up. Encore will come in handy if my opponent goes for something that I can lock them into, like Protect, possibly. Um, possibly some setup move that I don't really worry about my opponent getting the stat boosted on. Um, say my, my opponent's going for something, and I know that I can take it out if I have just enough time I could Encore it. Um, you know, I could Encore something. If it did get the Trick Room up, I can Encore it and make it stuck with that Trick Room. Um, that's where Whimsicott comes in. Landorus, which I'm interested in trying out this Landorus. Um, you notice my spreads aren't... Like, most of my spreads are just, you know, 252, 252. I know in VGC that's not the what most people do, but I just do it just because it's easy to keep track of. Um, but anyway, yeah, we got 252 attack, 252 speed... Um, we're packing the Yachi Berry. So Yachi Berry is going to reduce damage from Ice-type moves. And the thing about Landris is it hates taking Ice-type moves. It really hates it. So if we can survive um, some Ice-type moves, that's going to be really nice. Um, and and uh, do, trying out this set online, it seems to be working pretty decently. It can live some hits that would otherwise take it out. Intimidate because Intimidate such a great ability in this. Of course, you have to keep in mind Defiant users, competitive users, Pokemon like that. We're packing Earthquake U-Turn, Knock Off, and Rock Slide. Um, Earthquake is just a pretty good move. It hits a lot of things. U-Turn if I need to um, keep that Intimidate, Knock Off, so I can knock off something's item, and Rock Slide just so I could possibly get flinches. The thing is, um, there's some Pokemon that's probably going to be outspeeding us, so we'll have to keep that in mind, but with this, we'll outspeed quite a few Pokemon and maybe get some flinches. 
Um, now, Tapu Coco is here. Um, Tapu Coco, of course, Electric Surge, because you cannot get the other ability to it as of yet. Um, we're doing 252 speed and special attack. Remainder just in special defense. Um, <clears throat> but what we're doing here is giving it the Electrium Z. Um, the Electric Surge will boost electric type moves. And with the Electrium Z, we can hit something really hard with a Gigavolt Havoc. If I think my opponent's about to protect, I can bust through that protect. Um, we're going to be packing Thunderbolt, Dazzling Gleam, U-Turn, and Hidden Power Ice. So U-Turn is there if I need to um, keep my Tapu Koko alive, but I don't want to just switch out. I can just U-Turn out. Dazzling Gleam, um, that gives us some nice damage on both Pokemon. Thunderbolt is a really nice electric move, and since we have Electric Surge, it's going to be really nice. And Hidden Power Ice, because you need something for Landrises. Landorus is the number one Pokemon in VGC, and I am I am very confident in saying that, um, but that's why Hidden Power Ice is there. It also takes care of Salamances, because there's a lot of Salamances running around. Um, there's a few Dragonites I've seen, but I'm not so sure that that's going to be a big problem in the actual competition. It might be, but we'll just have to see. Um, the Incineroar spread, we're doing 252 HP, 252 attack. Remainder in special defense, and we are packing the Intimidate. So this is a Pokemon that recently got its hidden ability, and you can tell that everyone is excited for this thing to do well online, because everyone is giving it the Intimidate ability, and I think um, in the past few weeks, it's actually up there with Landorus in terms of usage. So that's pretty, um, <clears throat> that's pretty crazy. But I'm not so sure this thing's going to stay up there. It's probably just, you know, since it's so new. But we're going to be trying it out here. Because, you know, Incineroar is my mascot Pokemon. And we're going to be packing Assault Vest. So that gives us some survivability on the special defense side. The Intimidate gives us survivability on the physical defense side. We're packing Flare Blitz because it's a pretty good all-out move. Fake Out, you know, for utility. Knock Off so we can knock off items. And Low Kick for... Uh, mostly Tyranitars. There's quite a few Tyranitars running around. It'd be nice to kick them with a low kick. Our last Pokemon is going to be Mega Metagross, and this is going to be our Mega in this. So Metagross, I found, is actually doing a little bit better than the other Megas that it was trying out as of late. Um, I really like the Clear Body ability since there's so many Intimidators, and this thing does not really want to be Intimidated. It is a physical attacker that needs to hit hard. We're going to be packing Bullet Punch so we can get some extra hits in there. Thunder Punch, and that's mainly for Charizard. Charizard Y. Protect, because Protect's pretty nice in doubles. Um, I Looking through here, I actually don't have Protect on that many Pokemon. Actually, yeah, this is the only one I've got Protect on. And I'm hoping that doesn't end up biting me in the actual battles, but it might. I don't know. I just, yeah, I just don't have Protect on most of these. Um, but we're also packing the Meteor Mash. And Meteor Mash is there basically to, you know, possibly give us a boost in attack. And then Bullet Punch will be doing more. Um, you know, 252 attack, 252 speed, remainder in special defense. Put a remainder in special defense in all of these Pokemon. Just because there is a lot of Hyper Voice users and Heat Wave users running around. That's the main reason why I've done that. Um, Mega Metagross is actually surprisingly bulky and fast. This is like one of those Pokemon that it's actually in the uber tier, just how good it is. Um, 110 speed, it's outspeeding almost everything. It outspeeds Garchomp. Take that into consideration. This thing could outspeed Garchomp. So, yeah, that's going to be the team there. Um, we're going to go back into the actual, um, the actual thing here. But, yeah, we've got it. We've got our team set up and ready. For the actual competition so if you like this go ahead give it a thumbs up subscribe and tell me what pokemon are you bringing to this competition are you bringing some you know pokemon that everyone's using such as landris are you going to try something totally different like how i'm trying to do with braviary because i haven't seen that many braviaries online and i'm hoping to you know get some usage from braviary i think braviary Looking at it on paper, it is one of those Pokemon that's really nice. Let's go ahead and look back at this thing's um, spread and stuff. Look at this, 100 HP. That's pretty good. 123 attack. 
80 speed's not the best, but with a choice scarf, that's basically 120. Um, if you can keep the opponent from getting Trick Room, this thing can hit really hard. It can get a lot of boost. Um, so yeah, I think Braviary is going to do really nice. I like how I got Whimsicott to help out with that taunt. Um, we got double Intimidators. We have Tapu Koko with the Electrium Z just to hit things really hard. And Metagross, because we need a really good Mega. So, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, and I will see you in the next Pokemon video.